As a teacher or even as a homeschooling mom, you may have to teach your child with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD for short. If you need assistance helping these students with ADHD, this video is for you. Welcome to Ruth Straight Talk, the channel designed to help you, your students and your children live fuller lives, become lifelong learners, and grow into the awesome human beings you were designed to be. I'm Cynthia Ruth. In this video, I will share with you several study skills that will help your ADHD students stay focused and on top of their game. Also, don't miss my bonus tip on extra help for your ADHD student at the end of this video. So let's get right to it. Helpful study skills for students with ADHD. Children with ADHD often have difficulty in learning how to study effectively on their own. The following strategies may assist an ADHD student in developing those study skills necessary for academic success. The first one would be adapt worksheets. Teach a child how to adapt instructional worksheets. For example, if the student becomes overwhelmed by several questions on one page, help the child to fold his reading worksheet to reveal only one question at a time. He can also use a blank piece of paper to cover the other questions on the page and then encourage him to the student to focus only on the question that he can see. Number two, use Venn diagrams. Teach your student how to use a Venn diagram. So what is a Venn diagram? A Venn di diagram is a graphic organizer that is used to show how things are alike and how they are different. Venn diagrams help illustrate and organize key concepts in reading, mathematics, and several other subjects. A Venn diagram uses circles that overlap or don't overlap to show commonalities and differences among things or groups of things. If the circle overlaps, the area that overlaps is a common factor. Things that have commonalities are shown as the overlapping circles, while things that are different are distinctly to stand alone on both sides of the overlap. Number three, note-taking skills. Teach a child with ADHD how to take notes when organizing key academic concepts that he has learned. One of the easiest note-taking strategies is called the split page method of note-taking, also known as the Cornell method. In the Cornell method, the student should draw a horizontal line across the page two inches from the bottom. Then have them draw another about two inches from the left side. And finally, the students should draw a line from the top down to the horizontal line. This will split the page into three sections, a narrow column, a wide column, and a box at the bottom of the page. Write down the main points of the lesson in the wide column. After taking those notes, the student can use the narrow column to write questions or key vocabulary. The student can then write a summary of the lesson in the box below. Number four, checklist of frequent mistakes. The student should compile a list of common mistakes that they tend to make. For example, in language arts, punctuation or capitalization errors. In mathematics, addition or subtraction errors, or any other academic subject. The student should then use this list as a checklist when proofreading their assignment 
at home or at school before it is turned in for a grade. Number five, checklist of homework supplies. Each student should have an agenda book to write down homework assignments. The teacher can provide the students with a list of items that they would need to do that assignment. For example, he will need books, pencils, and the homework assignment sheets. The teacher should check, check to make sure that the student has written down the supplies list next to the homework assignment. Number six, uncluttered workspace. Clutter at the student's workplace can confuse the child. The teacher at school and the parent at home should encourage the student to put away any materials as soon as he's finished working with them. This will keep his work area clear, uncl uncluttered, and conducive to work. In the bonus strategy, I will provide ways to monitor the homework assignments. Both parent and teacher should monitor the student with ADHD's completed homework. Discuss and resolve with them and their parents any problems in completing these assignments. The parent should be able to evaluate how difficult the assignment was for the student and how long it took the student to complete the assignment. The parent should also check on the quality of the work that the student did. The teacher, parent, and student should get together when necessary to discuss the concerns that they may have regarding homework. While doing homework is an important part of developing study skills, it should be used also to reinforce skills and to review materials that were used in the class session. So there you have it, several tips to help your ADHD students succeed. Keep in mind also that as parents, you should always be looking for new ways to do things that are best suited for your children and your students. If this video has helped you, please leave me a comment at the bottom of the screen. Also, if you have a story, a tip, a strategy, a question, or just some advice that you would like me to share with my audiences, please also leave me a comment at the bottom of the screen. Click on these videos above for more awesome information on education and parenting. Thank you so much for visiting with us at RuthStraightTalk.com. It has been a pleasure. So until next time, happy learning and goodbye.